Hey guys, it's Aaron. So look at the layout and I want to look at something that people don't a lot of times think about when it comes to layout and that's working with files other than SketchUp files. Obviously the big point of using layout is to get your SketchUp files out of 3D space into 2D space. You can print or make PDFs, that sort of thing. But you can accentuate that data by importing uh, other file types. So let's go ahead and hop in right now and take a look at how that works. Okay, so I, I'm in the same document I've been in for the last few videos. I just made a brand new page, page six here. And the only thing I'm gonna do on this page is import files. We're gonna look at three different file types, a text file, a table, and an image. So any of these gets input the same way. I'm gonna go to file and hit insert. And then I'm just gonna go to the location of those files. So I created five files for us to take a look at. We'll start with the simplest one first, that's the image. So right here I have a JPEG file. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and click open. And this behaves probably exactly like you're expecting. There's no data associated with an image file, so I can select it. I don't see information in the SketchUp model screen or anything like that. It's really just an image. And the only thing I can really manipulate with this is the size and a stroke. So if I wanted to put a line around this image, I can turn on stroke and I can increase the size of that stroke to make it darker, bigger. Um, I can change the color of it just like with any other line. And of course, I can resize it. Resizing will let me distort the image. So I do want to hold down shift if I want to make sure to uh, resize this so it maintains the aspect ratio and doesn't get distorted. And I can rotate it. So, I mean, it's really pretty simple. If you've used layout at all, you probably know how to deal with an image right off the bat. So pretty easy. Images are great though, because you can bring in rendered images or product images, something like this, and throw those onto your drawing as reference. Uh, it, it's a great way to take your layout files from just, just SketchUp drawings with you know annotations on it to something that's more full featured and lots more uh, information and nice to look at too. All right, so let's go look at a text file. We'll go to File and Insert. Now, I grabbed two text files, so I had the exact same data. I typed it up once, and then I export it as both a text and an RTF. Now, one of the things I can do is I can actually come in here and grab multiple files. So I'm gonna grab off my desktop both the text file and the RTF file. And I'm gonna click Open. All right, they, they come in on, right on top of each other, so I'm just gonna scoot them over. Uh, so this right here is my text file. This right here is my RTF file. How can I tell the difference? Well, because this is the difference between the two. Text files, I'm gonna go ahead and resize this a little bit. Bring in, adjust your text. So this is everything you're gonna get out of a text file. RTF files bring in a little more data. So I, in, in RTF files, I can get things like line sizes. So you see here, right here, I have these, the exact same return right here. Uh, I can bring in bold versus colored font. So uh, RTF files are kind of nice because they'll give you a little more information here. They're a little more pizzazz. I don't know, a little more control over your text file as opposed to just the text that comes in a text file. Regardless of bringing in an RTF or a text file, once it comes in, that's all it is. It's just text. So I can change the text right here and it gets updated. Oh, I just went past the edge, so it made it a little bit longer to include my guac. I went for the guac, guys. Um, so you can see that that's, that's an option. You can go either way. Either way, we'll bring the text in. Once it's in here, you can totally edit it however you like. Uh, let's take this a step further. Let's go uh, one, one last file type to insert, and then we're gonna look at how layout actually deals with connecting to these files. So I'm gonna come in here, and I'm going to say, insert and i'm going to insert my two spreadsheets so just like i have two text files i have two spreadsheets here a csv which is a comma separated spreadsheet and an xls which is a uh, uh, microsoft spreadsheet so i'm going to go ahead and click ok open and again they both come in centered on the same location but once again you can see the difference right right off the bat so right here this is my comma, delimine, comma delineated file. So you can see when that comes in, very basic. 
So it has just this kind of uniform look. There's no difference between the different si the different fields. Um, everything is as big as it needs to be to fit the data, and that's it. Right here, my XLS file maintained the look that I created when I created the spreadsheets. When I created the spreadsheet, this is the way it looked when I created it in uh, Google Docs. So actually, that's where I created this and then exported it twice. This is what it looked like. These were the field sizes, a little bold, and then shading here. And these were the, the information, the, the justifications that I had. And see here, it just came up with data. Now, it's not a big deal because once it comes in, I can always come in here and you know, resize. I could change which direction the text falls. I could go in and put the shade. All that's, I could make it look like this, but by importing XLS from the beginning, it automatically looks like this. All right, now let's look at one last thing. If I go into document setup, I can see I have a whole bunch of files here. Let's, you know what, ignore these. We'll go ahead and purge those on out of there. These files, now let's go ahead and take a look at document setup. This is gonna show me all the files that are actually in this uh, layout file. So right now I'm syncing to, I have my, uh, my SketchUp file, then I have a house file. These are the two SKP files that make up the bulk of the pages here. But then I'm also connecting to uh, JPEG, RTF, spreadsheets. These are the other pieces that I'm connecting to as well. So what happens if one of these changes? Well, let's take a symbol. Let's go, let's go edit this RTF file. So I'm going to go ahead and just click edit right from here. What that's going to do is go grab that file and open it up right in my text editor. And what I could do here is, let's see, we'll go ahead and add another uh, set of text here. So we'll change something else in there. We'll get that lined up. Okay, once, I'm, once that's done, I can save that and close it. And what happens now? Well, if I come back over here, I look at my RTF file. Oh, ooh, look at that automatically updated, automatically synced. If I use the document setup screen to edit these files from here, it will automatically sync and update your document to those files. If you did it outside, if I was just to go out to my desktop, open these files up, make changes and save them, I would have to come back into the screen, pick the one that changed, say update, and then it would update my document out here. So there you go. Uh, try to keep it pretty simple, but dealing with external docs inside of layout is actually really pretty easy. Um, it also is nice because, you know, layout does what it does good. It lays out things for output. Um, it's not a text editor. It's not a spreadsheet program. You can create those things in there for sure, but it, sometimes it's easier to use the tools of those specific uh, functions, you know, to, to use the spreadsheet editor to edit your spreadsheets and then just re-import the data into layout. So fortunately, layout gives you both options. If it's a quick edit, you can just click in there and change it. If it's something a little more comprehensive or you have another program creating your spreadsheet, you can just go re-output it and then update through document setup. If you did like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. This entire series is being created because of comments from viewers like you. Like making these videos a lot? Like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.